speaking during the bimonthly monetary policy statement for August, Central Bank Governor Tumsime Mutebile um, cited low exports of goods and subdued tourism earnings, as well as weaker internal demand, as likely to continue impacting on economic growth, already downgraded. It's projected in the range of 3 to 4 percent, further increasing to 5 to 6 percent in fiscal year 2021, stock 2022. Dr. Fred Muhumza, a senior lecturer at Makerere University School of Economics, says that the current trends within the international arena could further dampen domestic growth. And we also need not just look at what is happening within Uganda. We should be conscious that as these spikes go back in Europe, that is going to affect us again. Because the entire global economy is going to drag on in terms of recovery. So that means Uganda is also going to be slower. His 3 to 4% might even be optimistic. And as the daily positive cases of the COVID-19 being registered, within Uganda's major commercial hub remains on a rapid rise. The architects of the country's monetary policy are reinforcing an already raised red flag on the economic outlook. The economic outlook is extremely uncertain, largely because of an unpredictable um, intensity and duration of the pandemic. We have seen big drops in economy, recessions really, in countries that have not had them to those magnitudes, 20%, 30% in, in, in the UK and in the US. Those are big drops that they have not had for quite a lot of time. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.